I went to jail. Like, yeah, there's, of course I'm angry. Paul Fishman on the United States Attorney for the District of New Jersey. Judge Salas has imposed a 41-month sentence of imprisonment for Giuseppe Giudice and a 15-month sentence of imprisonment for Teresa Giudice. Both of those sentences, in the government's view, are fair, appropriate, and reasonable sentences, and we're satisfied with the result. I gotta blame myself, you know, who else am I gonna blame, you know? Well, your issues with the law have affected not only your businesses, but now both of you face prison time. Part of your plea deal was that you would accept prison time. So was it surprising that you, you wound up getting time? I didn't understand um, my plea deal. You didn't understand what you were agreeing to when you pled guilty? Completely. Wow. Have you spoken to your lawyers about that? It's done now. Right. Joe, there's speculation about whether you may be deported. Do you think that's going to happen? We'll deal he with that issue when I text. can't answer you know, that, yeah. It's not going to be for a does, while. Does the thought scare you? Yeah. I mean... Of course. <laughs> of course, you know, I mean, it's... Uh, honey, you, know, you, it's honey, not you can't talk about we, it. Being a pain in the ass. Oh my god, no way! That's such a joke. No freaking way. Do you hold yourself accountable to the to what you did? Of course I do. You do. I did. You know. I. You know, what did you do? I signed papers without reading them, and. You know, before I ever do that again, I'm going to make sure whatever I put my John Hancock on that I understand fully before signing any other papers in the future. And I pled guilty to, to what I did. I, you know, I got sentenced. I served 11 and a half months. I apologized to the judge. I did my time. Have you paid your restitution? My restitution's paid. Dad texted me today. He made me cry. He was like, you're going to do great today. I wish I was there. You do what you do, because you do everything best. And like, yeah. You know, she hasn't expressed it that much, but I know inside she's saying, I wish my dad was here. I'm angry that, yeah, I came home. Eight months later, I lost my mom. You feel he took that time with your yeah. mom away from you? Yes, yes, I do. Have you two fought about that? Not fought about it, but I do throw it in his face. Like, you do? You know, when I get mad, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, you shouldn't have screwed up. They'll never be able to go to their graduation, celebrate their birthdays, anything. He's going to be missing out on so much. Thank you, Dad. The girls adore their father, and no child should have to go through what my daughters are going through. 
they should have their daddy here. Do you carry with you a great sadness knowing that in two months you could be saying goodbye to the love of your life? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot to deal with my children, what's gonna happen with him. It's just, it's a lot. And listen, everyone makes mistakes, but to get deported, that's Are so you... sad. And he's been here since he's a year old. So I'm doing everything I can. I'm spending all this money. I'm appealing it. Like everything, like whatever has to be done, I'm doing it. You know, and I, I mean, I'll, I'll fight to the end. So if he is deported and goes to Italy, will you go there with him? I hope that's not a decision I have to make, but to like pick up my, my children and just move to another country, I don't think that would be good for my children. So, I mean, so no, I probably wouldn't. What you're saying is that you would split up. That's what you're saying. I mean, unless my kids say, Mommy, I want to move to Italy. Right. But I, you know, Gia's going to college next year. I haven't spoken to Melania or Adriana about it. We haven't gotten there yet. And Gabriella already voiced her opinion to me. She's like, that would be so hard for me, Mommy. She doesn't speak the language. She's like, that would, that would kill me even more. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's like starting a whole new life. Right. And they've been through so much already. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not doing a long distance relationship. I'm, I'm I understand. Just not doing I, it. I totally understand. You know, I want somebody with me every day. And I know exactly what happens. Like, you know, I'm sure he'll be with other women. You know, it, it happens. So, if we do the long distance thing, it's not going to work. Like, yeah. I'll be like, bye bye. He's gonna get shipped out of the damn country. I don't know if I'm ready to let him go.